Australia. The new fully equipped Sorento four-wheel drive at just 37,950. It's another grand slam brought to you by Kia. Samus hits the small screen in her quest to track down and defeat the life form mimicking X Parasite in Metroid Fusion for the GPA. With classic Metroid music and effects, the sound has surprising depth and quality for a GBA game. The 2D side scrolling graphics are reminiscent of Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, only fine tuned with lots of diversity in the level design. Stannis' controls handle great, with notable improvements like the ability to hang from ledges, climb walls and travel across overhead ladders. Although helpful for beginners, there's a bit too much assistance from the navigation computer, which takes away from the exploration factor in this reasonably short game. Linking up to the GameCube won't do much for Fusion players, but it does activate a new suit for Samus in Metroid Prime, plus unlocking the original Metroid game for use on the Cube. Another piece of the Metroid puzzle which will have you fused to your GBA. Our score for Metroid Fusion, three and a half stars. Forget monkey business, this is monkey anarchy. Ape Escape 2 is a crazy adventure. Our little hero Simon travels through different lands in a world of challenges to net as many naughty monkeys as he can. With different tools to choose from, like the stun club, to the most important monkey net. You'll need to use all types of guerrilla tactics at every stage of the game. Ape Escape 2 is entertaining and challenging enough for all ages, so don't let that monkey get away from you. Three and a half stars. Sonic the Hedgehog, with all of his moves and antics, has even more to battle and collect in Sonic Advance 2. The next in the crazy adventure, which has the world's fastest hedgehog running, jumping and collecting as many Chaos Emeralds as possible along the way. A new friend named Cream the Rabbit joins Sonic to thwart the evil machines of Dr. Eggman, who's up to his old tricks again. Evade the obstacles and enemies, unlock secret areas and uncover hidden Chaos Emeralds to transform into Super Sonic for the final battle. Another high-paced, side-scrolling action title keeping true to the original games. This is a great sequel in the Sonic lineup. The Control Freaks PC Gaming Update, brought to you by the Intel Pentium 4 processor with hyper-threading technology. Turbo boost your performance. This week, we hit the track with the hottest racing sims on the market. The Flying Scotsman returns in Colin McRae Rally 3. The tracks and environments in the new instalment rock, and your vehicle takes serious punishment every time you collide with something. breakneck speeds and split-second decisions based on track condition reports from your navigator will see you through. With 56 stages over eight countries, McRae 3 will not disappoint. Total immersion racing follows close behind with drivers who actually have emotions. Make a tight turn and their confidence shoots up. Block one and they'll get aggressive. Keep up the pressure and on the last lap they'll get defensive, fighting for their driving lines. No multiplayer capabilities lets Total Immersion down a bit, but it's still a solid game. Bringing home the Australian flavour is V8 Supercars Race Driver. Tear through the authentic Adelaide and Canberra circuits in one of 42 different vehicles. The AI is superb, and you'll know it when someone blocks you while overtaking. The sound effects are great. These cars scream and rumble, so don't be stingy with the bass if you have a surround setup. The Control Freaks PC Gaming Update, brought to you by the Intel Pentium 4 processor with hyper-threading technology. Turbo boost your performance. For those in hot pursuit of a new high-powered racer, consider it revved up and ready to go in this sequel to the popular Need for Speed series. Hot Pursuit Mode gives you 33 events to go through, bronze, silver and gold levels. Keep your eyes peeled for the cops, as the resourceful constabulary will throw many challenges your way. 
from spike strips, helicopters and roadblocks to just good old-fashioned chasing you down and running you off the road. If that's not enough heart-stopping driving action for you, Championship Mode has another 33 cop free events with an emphasis on the actual racing. Single Challenge Mode allows customised settings from race type, difficulty, opponents, traffic, car and track, while the multiplayer option will have you pitted against a friend or up to seven computer-generated competitors. For the fast and furious player, put your pedal to the metal in a randomly generated quick race mode. Points are rewarded for everything from gaining a place, crashing into opponent or cop and eluding the police. Use your loot to unlock tracks and exotic licensed cars from the garages of Lotus, Lamborghini, Porsche, Ferrari and McLaren, plus the local V8 beasts. An upgraded damage model shows more physical evidence of collisions than ever before, but it doesn't hamper the driving, which in itself can be sluggish to control. During spectacular crashes or big air jumps, the camera pulls back for a slow-mo shot or an overhead 360-degree spin. The elegance and grace of this collection of four-wheel dream machines will win over any motoring enthusiast. So, for edge-of-your-seat driving at blistering speeds with a strong arcade feel, cross the finishing line with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Thrustmaster have come through with the goods again, with another steering wheel to give away. All you have to do is tell us, in 25 words or less, why Thrustmaster are the number one wheels in Australia. Send your answers to the address below, and you could be the lucky winner of a Ferrari Force Feedback GT steering wheel for PC, valued at $200. Entries close 28th of June, so race to it. Next on Control Freaks, where is game development heading in Australia? Part two of our special report. Control Freaks! On the eve of the biggest event of her life, she'll take you through some of the greatest moments of home and away. Plus, an exclusive behind-the-scenes sneak preview of the wedding of the year, premiering tonight, 7.30. Then, you'll be ready for the biggest event in 16 years. But will their fairy tale wedding turn into the biggest disaster? Where we have to jump! An unforgettable week of home and away begins at the special time tonight at 7.30. The balloon's gone up on the Carpet Choice 10th birthday celebration sale. And the presents are all coming your way with unbeatable party prices on top brand carpet. Save heaps on superb timber and laminate flooring and grab a bargain with the very best value in vinyl. And don't forget to ask about our unique triple guarantee. The Carpet Choice 10th birthday celebration sale is now on. Carpet Choice, Choice, Choice and so much more. You're looking at new Circular guarantee to outlast all other non-stick cookware. Only Circulon has the unique high-low wave technology to create a total food release system. A non-stick surface so superior, the only thing that sticks is your lifetime guarantee to outlast all other non-sticks guaranteed. Circulon. Yellow Pages directory. Uh, don't forget. It's me bringing you. Um, that's me <laughs> to remind you to place the ad in the Yellow Pages directory. Um, yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Hi, it's me again. Um. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hello, it's me. It's calling myself. Do whatever it takes to remind yourself.
forgot what you're doing. Pause for a moment. Now get ready to play. Blinks plunges you into a world full of turmoil as the evil Tom Tom and his gang kidnap a princess and begin stealing all the time crystals. Armed with only his high-powered garbage-sucking vacuum cleaner, Blinks must clean up the trash in over 35 colour-filled levels. This title has a great concept, allowing you to have control over a dimension that has never before been tangible in a game. Time. The power to control time comes from time crystals that Blinks collects along the way. These crystals vary in shape, and different time powers are obtained when three or more of the same type are collected. The time window is set up like a video recorder's buttons, with record, rewind, fast forward, pause and slow-mo. Rewind allows Blinks to turn back time, making bridges reappear from a pile of rubble and forcing enemies to move harmlessly backwards. In each main level, Blinks has the ability to exchange items for cash and then shop until he drops for upgrades, including a new vacuum cleaner, increased garbage capacity and a retry holder for more lives. Blinks' world is strange and vibrantly colourful, with cool water effects that get better when time is frozen. The camera has a habit of trying to adjust itself, but can end up working against you, causing problems when jumping. The pace of this game does get frustrating. As Blinks is very slow, he runs at a walk, and it seems to take forever to get where you want to go. Bright and cheerful childlike music goes well with the cartoon appearance of this lively, cool-as-a-cat time sweeper. He's got funk, he's got attitude, and best of all, he's got time. Game development is going through a transitional period on a world scale. With consoles charging into households and PCs becoming part of the furniture, the demand for content is bigger than ever. But developers are expected to deliver more for less and still on time. We talked to some of Australia's developers about their plans for the future, how they will react in this changing market and what it's like playing on an international stage. I can say that Australian developers uh, are looking stronger and stronger every year. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of big successes recently within Australia, um, including uh, Ty from Chrome, who sold 800,000 units. Getting into, into the industry and starting a company is actually quite difficult. Uh, the hardest thing you'll face is actually getting recognition from the likes of Sony, PlayStation 2, and Xbox, GameCube, Nintendo, to give you the dev kits. It's one thing to be able to afford them, it's another thing to be able to get them to recognize that you should be given the kits, or at least purchase the kits. Don't move, mate. I'll get help. The association has, I guess, three key objectives. The first is to raise the profile um, of the Australian game industry, which is why we're at E3 this year. We... Our second objective is to attract investment, both from um, offshore publishers and investors, but also educate our local investment community. The number of uh, Australian companies uh, at the show is actually a very good indication of um, the uh, technical ability of uh, the Australian market at the moment. Uh, people looking to have games developed down under can look forward to uh, having it done at a much more cost-effective uh, rate than you would elsewhere around the world. Well, our latest release, uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, uh, shipped just recently on three platforms, PC, Xbox and PS2, into 11 languages worldwide. It's been a great success, been getting great reviews. And it, the Australian industry is growing every year. Um, and I think uh, you know, we, we've got a great opportunity here to be one of the major world players in the, in the, in the entertainment business. So uh, Hollywood completely dominates the film industry. But uh, the games industry, it's still early days yet, and Australians are recognised as being some of the most creative and some of the best game developers in the world. Our first game is for Microsoft, for the Xbox. Um, it'll be published sometime next year, 
Uh, we can't announce it, and it's the first massive multiplayer game for a console in the world. Pretty good honour from the Australian development company. Coming up on Control Freaks, our retro pick for this week and a showcase of new titles from Sony Computer Entertainment. Control Freaks. There's something that's making the contestants on Wheel of Fortune go a little crazy. Oh. It's called the Mystery Wedge. The choice is theirs. Win an overseas holiday or lose everything. The new excitement of the Wheel of Fortune weekdays. If you're a big business, a small business, or have a home office, stock up on stationery and office supplies at the mid-year sale at your local newsagent. Everything you need is in these 16-page catalogues. A pack of 10 Mag Media recordable CDs for $3.99. From Sovereign, a pack of 10 A4 spiral-bound notebooks, $5.95. 13 Pocket A4 expanding files for $2.95. And 50 Deluxe Australian-made suspension files for $16.95. Get down to business at the mid-year sale at your local newsagent. G'day, Bob. Stevie. Mate, you wouldn't happen to have a socket extension, would you? Yeah, I've got one of them. Things are so cheap at Super Cheap, you'll never have to borrow them again. Like this 12 volt boat winch, only $139, save 50. CD and speaker package, just $129. A portable carport for $149. And this 230 mil angle grinder, only $89, save 70 bucks. I'll pop down to Super Cheap and pick one up then. Yeah, that'll be good. Ever had tinea between the toes? This is enough to drive you crazy! Most products require application once, twice, sometimes three times a day for around three weeks. Glamisil is applied once daily for just one week, not three. Come in and see the good, good, good guys. Pay cash and we'll slash the prices. The good guys, where you pay less when you pay cash. Pay less, pay cash at the good guys. Modern streamlined roller shutters are the best. They keep the heat out in summer, the warmth in in winter, the burglars out, the noise off the street, the light from coming in, reduce energy bills, protect against storms and bushfires. Call Moderns on 13 11 78 now. It's the mid-year sale at your local news agent and it's all in these catalogues. Mag Media CDs, $3.99. 10 notebooks, $5.95. 13 pocket expanding files, $2.95. And 50 suspension files, only $16.95. The mid-year sale at your local news agent. Ian Bell and David Brabant created video game history in 1984 with Elite on the BBCB. The 3D engine was quite revolutionary, but it was the gameplay that set Elite apart. As pilot of your own ship, you had total freedom to explore a huge universe of solar systems, each with their own space station and opportunities for trade. You could play it safe with legal commodities or trade illicit contraband and run the risk of being attacked by the local space police and pirates. In terms of free-roaming, non-linear 3D environments, Elite had it all. And it was all done with 32K and a 2 MHz processor. E3 is all about big stands, and they don't come much bigger than Sony Computer Entertainment. Gran Turismo 4 and iToy were definitely highlights for Sony, but the real star of the show was the PlayStation Portable. And it wasn't even on display. Just the news that Sony intends to jump on the handheld bandwagon at the end of next year was enough to get the industry buzzing. iToy Play is the first title to utilise the PlayStation 2 iToy technology and comes as a compendium of 12 games that are stunningly simple and instantly playable. Of the 12 games included in iToy Play, our favourites were Beat Freak, a dancing game guaranteed to get you strutting in no time. Boxing Chump, where you slug it out with Big Robo Bro, and of course, the incredibly silly Wishy Washy. Other games include Kung Fu, Plate Spinner, and Keep Ups. Sony are gearing up their online gaming services and had a strong lineup of products compatible with their broadband adapter. It's great to see Destruction Derby making a comeback after a few years on the scrap heap. The basic gameplay remains the same. Take control of a fully destructible car and throw it around a series of tracks and bowls. But now you can race against 16 other players over...
EverQuest Online promises to bring interaction and community to a whole new audience of console gamers, elements that made the original PC EverQuest so popular. The game is scheduled to launch in Q4 2003. Twisted Metal, Hardware and US Navy SEALs have all been released in line with the launch of Sony's online services in the UK. We expect these titles will also form the first wave of online titles in Australia when the service finally becomes available. Fans of platform games are in for a double treat as both Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank have made it to sequel status. Ratchet and Clank 2 promises more of the coolest and craziest guns and gadgets ever imagined. No release dates at this stage, just these great screenshots. October is the release date for Jack 2, Renegade. The developers, Naughty Dog, claim it will push the PS2 to new levels of gameplay and design. Once we get our hands on a review copy, Control Freaks will let you know if that's true. All of these games will be put to the test by the Control Freaks team later in the year, so stay tuned. Piglet may be very small, but he puts on a brave face as he sets out to rescue his friends by turning their bad dreams into good ones. When Pooh, Tigger, Roo, Rabbit, Owl and Eeyore begin having dreams in which they lose their precious treasures, it's up to Piglet to save the day and find the missing items. Piglet's Big Adventure is available now on PlayStation 2 and Nintendo GameCube. Next week, we get chaotic with a Kung Fu Master, a showcase of games from the stable of EA, plus a gargantuan gathering of good games squeezed into a tiny 30 minutes. Oh, control 